It is fun. It is fun. Well, Lion builds are getting popular again, so I figured I'd do my little take on it. It's terrific, right? I'm in heaven. <laughs> I tried out this soldering thing. First, we made a, a Lion out of a, we made it out of the 18650. We took apart a Mobula 8, but the Mobula 8 has motors that are for 2S. So decided to put some 1S motors on it so that we'd have a little bit higher KV. The problem with the <laughs> whoop motors is that they're too small. So we literally had to uh, extend them all. We spent a long time trying to make a uh, battery holder. And right now we are creating a canopy to stick everything on. Isn't that a cute little GPS? We're gonna put the cutest little GPS on. But first we're gonna have to shrink wrap all these wires so it doesn't blow itself up immediately. Okay, we shrink them all together now. Our canopy is almost ready to test out. Oh, I'm excited. Did our first little uh, canopy. We uh, are not done yet. This is like how we figure out the sizing. So we had to drop the camera a bit. We're uh, starting to put our motor wires together nice and tight. And we're gonna add the GPS. So now we're gonna cut the wires to the right size for the GPS. And our V2 of the canopy is coming out. Okay, now we got our final canopy. We've dental flossed our motors together and we're installing our little battery holders. The screw goes through there and into the canopy. There it is, it's 89 grams with uh, GPS and everything. Although the GPS isn't working right now, let's see if it can fly. So it's bloody horrible weather. And uh, <laughs> yesterday I built two drones. So we have a live stream today with a dude that made the uh, Lion thing popular. At the end of this video, I'll link <laughs> the video where you can see me do the whole thing. It's eight hours long, so you'll have to skim through it. But this is my frame, the Psycho. So this is our first Lion version. It weighs all together like nine, 89 grams with uh, GPS, battery and everything. Uh, let's. This is our maiden flight. Let's see if it's decent it's terribly ugly and rainy so i can't crash or anything because i don't want to walk anywhere you know what it's raining i don't like losing stuff so we'll have to wait till it stops raining this is my life let's go to the parking garage for a bit so we now get to have a full test but at least we're just gonna find out if it's fun and i'm pretty sure it is so excited it has the wire, so I stick it in this part because that's like where the gap is, okay? So we stick, oh yeah, stick it in the right way. Also, I made this thing too tight, but we like it tight, right? Right, we like it tight. Now play the little clip that you've all come to love so much. Get it right, get it right, get it tight. Okay, see, it sits there, it holds it very nicely, center, and it even has like pressure, the TPU on top, so it's not touching the actual board and it sticks in like so mind you i leave the battery on i don't fly multiple packs i don't think i think i just need one because i don't need to fly for 20 minutes very nice let's go rip it. go. Pull off. Is it still alive? It's still alive. Oh, that's not good. We don't want to be smashing this thing into the uh, concrete. Throttle control. Mm. <laughs> Oh my god, no power. Okay, let's try. Uh, hello, Mr. Motorcycle. Hello, my little tray that my wife gave me so I can keep things organized. Uh, okay, let's do 
do some uh, juice plots. Oh, let's go flash Without going into the ceiling. Oh my god. Let's go the other way. Precision. Mm. Let's go like this. Not the ceiling. The banking, the hard banking. Oh! Whoa. This is kind of fun. It is. It's just. You're at like. High throttle. Oh, it's like a slalom. It's like flying like one of those huge drones in GLRL. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not a hit myself. You know what? I actually think this would be a great race trainer. Learn the line. You need that throttle to like catch yourself and uh, at the same time not shoot up and it's like you won't. Ooh. We did it both ways. I don't want to do it anymore. Okay, I think it is fun. It is fun. It is quite fun indeed. It just keeps going. It keeps going and going and going and going. Ah. Oh. Okay, very nice. Five minutes without even trying. Uh, I have to say I approve. <laughs> Quite fun. Receiver still connected. If you want one, uh, my print kits. Oh, every time it falls, it's the weight of the battery. It's like, oh no, the drone's fine. We uh, have a podcast channel coming very soon with all the podcasts, except that I taken like two hour podcasts and edited them into digestible fun pieces of content for you to enjoy so go subscribe to that channel and uh, watch a couple episodes if it's live if not then i'll just have the video for how i built this thing so the gps didn't work on it i don't know how to get it to work so we're gonna take this off and we're gonna replace it 
with, oh, we added a gram of weight. It looks so cool. We also added it from a 20 degree to a 30 degree. Protection for the electronics. There's like these little wings you can still plug in. It just looks cooler. It's more aggressive. Now it's a freestyler instead of a um, long range. <laughs> no more GPS. Let's just see how much fun we can have with this thing and kill the battery as fast as possible. I think I'm going to be selling these if you want the frame with the prints and the screws and whatever. I'll do a full little kit for 30 bucks. Website in the description as always. Blast from the future. If you wanted to do it without the Lion, I have this print too that lets you put uh, your little like 1S batteries, like a 450 into there. And this can be mounted on top like this, or it can be mounted underneath. So you can do it with regular 1S LiPos also. You just have to tell me whether you want the LiPo edition or the uh, Lion edition. Okay, it's bloody snowing, but I want to I wanna test out my freestyle Lion quad. <laughs> this stupid thing. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be terrible. Okay, I'm gonna try and kill this pack as fast as possible. Little tip too, if you're building these uh, Lion builds, uh, during my hover test, I noticed that if you give it some throttle and kind of cut the throttle, it can't recover from it. It'll just drop. So what you have to do is go to your motor tab, go to the idle, and put it to 20%. I'm actually flying at 30% because I just, I, I want it to have more stability. So it just has the, uh, the motors spinning at idle a little bit faster, which makes it easier for it to recover in a drop. That'll make it less efficient, but it'll make it better. For like performance and stuff, if you're using bi-blades, you'll probably get more efficiency, but less grip. And because of all the added weight on a small build, this is a 2.5. I did it with uh, bi-blades in the parking lot, and now we have tri-blades, and in the hover test, I felt like it had a lot more control, plus the 30% motor idle. But let's, let's go rip the winter. <laughs> okay, another thing that happens to you in the cold is if anything hits, it's a lot easier to break. <sighs> yeah. This, this, I shouldn't have done this. Let's fly for half an hour in the freezing cold. That sounds like a great idea. Let's see how. Where's the hole? Okay, let's go. Let's do this. Ooh, I should have wore a coat. This is my frame, the Psycho. And I'm just starting to make different versions of it. So we have the version that you can put the lie on and the GPS and it has a 20 degree fixed angle. And then here, this is gonna be our little freestyle version. It has uh, no GPS. It has like a little roll thing. Uh, the thing is when this falls and crashes, it's never gonna land on the top anyways, cause all the weight is at the bottom. So you're just gonna smash the battery. So you could put some foam under the battery and that might help you more than anything else. Just a thought, if you want one of these kits, I'm selling them for 30 bucks. Okay. Oh, you have to plug in after you turn on your radio. It's, oh, never mind. Never mind. Let's, let's just do this. I don't know if it stands on the stupid battery. Uh, okay. Let's try. Oh. Ooh. I don't know why it's not lifting. If I sit it like that, let's try again. <laughs> okay, we're up and we're flying and we're shaking. Okay, there is, oh, I cannot see that wall and it wobbles. Holy cow, it's actually fast, but yeah, that's not working. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's too cold. <sighs> I 
How could this happen in me? Telemetry lost. And someone literally just drove over it. Great. I can't get a break, man. I get a break. The drone's broken. Oh my god. Of course, of course, the car just comes and runs it over. <laughs> well, our thing got like crushed. Uh, this sucks. Well, that's the saddest ant I've ever seen. inside the camera there we go I have to cut my nails the glass that's not cracked 